of the Pro Volleyball Federation here inside Gas South Arena. The hunt is on to catch Atlanta. The vibe still atop the Pro Volleyball Federation standings and looking to cap off a winning week at home. It's the third matchup of the season between the Vibe and the San Diego Mojo. Hi, everyone. Andy Demetra, Keely Evelyn. Great to have you with us. And Keely Atlanta coming off arguably the most impressive singular performance in the Pro Volleyball Federation this season, a three-set dismantling of Columbus on Wednesday. It moves the Vibe up now to 10-4 and four and still in first place in the Pro Volleyball Federation. Two of their wins were sweeps over the Mojo, but San Diego coming off its first road win of the season six days ago and a sweep at that over Las Vegas. Both of these teams just executed their best team performance. Mojo hit 42% kill percentage, and Atlanta had four hitters with double-digit kills. It is anyone's game today. That first ball kill will be key to success. As we said, the third time, the Mojo and the Vibe are locking up. Atlanta made quick work of San Diego on February 1st, but a month later, the Vibe needed a pair of two-point set wins to get the sweep, and the Mojo coming off that sweep over Las Vegas featuring one of the emerging young outside hitters in this league in Temi Thomas Ilara. A feared blocker and a dominant attacker. Thomas Ilara can light up the show. Because the passing numbers have improved for Mojo, her kill percentage continues to go up. The middles are doing their job, holding the attack one-on-one. -on -one. Thomas Ilara is coming up with the kill. If the will get the set. She is just getting started, but the question everybody is asking around the Pro Volleyball Federation, who can stop Ana Lazareva? Going off 20 kills in their last matchup. Lazareva just hit 48% three days ago. Can she continue to improve or will Mojo adjust and try to block any shot she gives? I got some bad news. <laughs> Lazareva can mix her shot up and does it like a professional, a Russian Olympian now playing for the Vibe. The Vibe says, thanks for coming. It should be an energetic Saturday night here inside Gas South Arena. Vibe and the Mojo and our first serve is coming up next. It's going to be a big day. I think of all the little girls in the stands right now. Dreams coming true, not only for these professionals, but the young little girls in the crowd saying, maybe one day I'll be out there too. You ain't seen nothing yet. This one slammed right into the block. Shelly Fanning engine here in the A. Welcome home. Divine win it in straight sets and move to three. Come watch the match on April 7th at 4 p.m. and get a free San Diego Mojo Jersey t-shirt. the number one draft pick. Fury is lucky to have her. Match day in Atlanta, round three between the Vibe and the Mojo Keelys. We check in on your keys to the match. You have to start at that service line. Aggressive, risk-taking serves. Four hitters cannot hit double-digit kills in this Mojo match. And the deceptive setting choice is no better. 
setter to run it, the Nutsara Tomcom, 38 years old, 16 years pro, can run the show for Atlanta. Represent as the number one team in digs and block. You got your transition game going, get that started early on. And then of course, you find the hot hand. So the hot hand first match was Edmund. Last time this matchup happened was Lazareva. Who can be that today? If Setter Monterey can find that hot hand, Atlanta has been straight fire. Atlanta coming off a season high 370 hitting percentage in that sweep over Columbus. San Diego a season high 42% kill percentage in the sweep over the thrill. As we uh, wind up and get started at Gas South Arena tonight. First swing for La Sareva, and she makes it look terminal. Ana La Sareva, fourth in the Pro Volleyball Federation in points per match. Gets the vibe scoring started. The difference throughout the season, working with their setter, Monterey, is dropping the height of the set. That ball did not clear the height of the antenna. Low flat ball, Montereva coming up with the kill. And with the first serve for the vibe, a little fat, not as it won. You're going to see that a lot in this match, Andy. A lot of risk taken on the service line because you don't want Mojo to stay in system to run that middle attack. You have Stone Bastianelli just able to produce offense. Valeria Papa to serve and turn back at the line. That swing was from Lekator member Mana, but the door is slammed shut. Tom Com and Ronica Stone. This is watching video. You come in on the hard angle shot. If you, Lekator member Mena has a seam, she's going cross court. Stone in there for the clamp. Reverse to La Sareva, cutting it to the cross court for another side out. That was a moment of such a fast kill. One of those moments where Coach Hanif Park was looking at Bolt 6 saying, was that in or out? Hmm. Take it as a point for Atlanta. We saw Atlanta wind up the tempo in that sweep over Columbus and really caught the Fury flat-footed, swooping in from the back. Another side out for the mojo. And that's Temi thomas Ilar. We spotlighted her in the open. A team-high 19 points in the win over Las Vegas. Her third match this season with 19-plus. And she's able to drop it down in front of Edmund. Trying to go soft over the block. La Sareva has that erased. Have not seen that often this year. Hannah Tapp with a big target at the net. Tap went to close on member Mena and then close on the right side with that back row attack with Lazareva. Great movement. One antenna to the next by middle blocker Stone. Eighth year pro from Minnesota makes it 4 2 Mojo. And off the bump set, Lazareva covers the line. Corks ring towards the side. It's bumped up by Thomas Ilara. And bumped across by the vibe. La Sareva overcooks it. Andy, you can tell right now, Mojo has scouted in depth this Atlanta team, taken away early shots that we've seen, and now come and hang in tight throughout that rally to pull off that point. And a 5 2 start for the Mojo. What a slow start, but certainly found their bearings in that sweep over the thrill. Lekator member Mena. Boy, did she come up big in that sweep over Columbus with the team high 16 points, sniping it down the line. And you see she changed her shot. Previously went cross court, got blocked. This one going over setter Tomcom for the line shot. Had been soft over the block. Kept up by Tom Kong. Monterey, member Mena has to change the speed. Monterey's been dishing dimes <laughs> of late. Watch out. Great defensive dig there by Papa. But they cannot stop the free train of Leah Edmond from the outside. Point five. The first set lean back by Monterey going out. It was close. It was close to go down for a kill. Monterey says, let's go ahead and do that again. Edmond here for it. Edmond third in the Pro Volleyball Federation points per match. Makes it 5-4 Mojo, 6-4 on a big swing from the outside. Vanderweide says, I got to get a quick side out. You can feel the momentum coming on Atlanta's side. Vanderweide takes that quick ball one-on-one -on -one through it. 
Fourth year pro from Oregon, double-double in the win over Las Vegas with a team-high 13 digs. Vander Wyda from the standstill. That's bumped up by Lasareva. Off the slide, Yella Hasheva. Couldn't time it quite right. And it leads to a point for the Mojo. And a very sharp start on the road for San Diego as they stretch the lead to three. Just holding the time to get that right side attack going, going cross court, trying to make the dig, Lazareva, but just not enough. San Diego's two season lows in kill percentage were both against the vibe, 26%. 28% as Bolt 6 confirms that was dotted by member Mena. Point to the Vibe. You know, out of system, in system, Vibe goes to their back row attack often. Member Mena was ready for that when the ball was at the net with the set. Vibe serving seven. Ooh. And that one is off the outside edge of the block. No, Aaron hit and a point for the Vibe. That was the right idea, going line shot with Edmund. Edmund was dropped in on that cross court, just missing that off the hands as Vanderweide. Tom Cobb, Vanderweide. Slowed at the net. Quick set through the middle. Fanning turned back by the libero. Oh, and a solo block in the middle. <laughs> Shelly Fanning was waiting. Fanning earlier in the rally got her first attempt. This one wanted the kill. Let me come up with the block. Fanning putting it down. Team leading 30th block of the season. Uh, the service error snaps the 3 0 Vime run, and San Diego retakes the lead. You will see that because San Diego, um, it's not like you fear the middle attack, but you just know Mojo has a dynamic middle offense. You, you're going to take those risks deep, long, wide. You got to go for it. Vander Wyde on the service line. Edmund blocked. Dumped on two. Deep and down. Point Mojo. Fun thing about Papa is she can hit from the right side and outside. So dynamic. A legend in the Italian game. Going through a seam. Two defenders find an open court. 11 points for Valeria Papa in the sweep over the thrill. A 34-year-old from Genova, Italy, <laughs> but a quick riposte by Edmund. Oh, <laughs> Edmund is feeling it already. She's going high over that block, finding the open court. Watching video is so key for these professionals, knowing where their early shots will happen. Leah Edmund's season high was 415 in that sweep over the Mojo Marsh the second. Makes it 9-8 San Diego. Papa <laughs> blocked La Sareva. She can do it all. <laughs> yes, a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Lazareva says no problem. Recognize the change of shot, not going line, jumping in to that cross-court attack by Papa, coming up with a major block. Two players with loads of international experience in a meeting at the summit there. Vime still searching for their first lead of the set. And on the roof, the point for Fanning. Shelly Fanning double-digit points each of her last five matches. She only had two double-digit outings her first nine. She has really stabilized things in the middle for Todd Dagenet. You'll take that just ready at the net. I was, I thought a little net violation was called. Fanny says, I don't care. We're <laughs> going to take the point. Serve it up, my setter. And off the block and down the points. Tammy Thomas, Ilara. Leah Edmond is one of the best blockers Ooh, in this They did call league. that out. Thought that caught hands. Taking it, but the, you can see they're trying to take yeah. hands because Edmond is just a strong blocker. You're actually trying to take hands to work the tool out of bounds because your line digger is one of the best in the yeah. nation is Morgan Hens. Make it 11-9 vibe. Kept up by Hens, one of the best defensive players in the Pro Volleyball Federation. But a little too much traffic after the dive, unable to be kept up by Atlanta. With Atlanta, Mojo ne knows that they have to side out quickly. You, you're going to see attackers go for that first ball kill. That's what we talked to Honey Park, saying we have to go for the shot. We do not want to stay in long rallies. Yeah, she said, have to serve tough, get Atlanta out of system. Back set, La Sareva finesses it. Such a smart shot, knowing that she had middle blocker in on left back. Venegas, the libero, is out right now. So that 
defensive shot thrown at a tip. It's either that middle making the play or you get the point. Big swing from the service line by Edmond. The bump set and that catches the corner. Wow, cross court deep and down. How about that one? That's a shot as a right side you continually work on. Where you are on the court, how do I find the deep corner on the right side attack? It's always two defenders crossing. Nice job, Thomas Ilara. Well, she sails the serve to wipe out that side out. Tammy Thomas Ilara, the 6'6 rookie, played her collegiate volleyball at Northwestern, grad transfer year at Wisconsin. She was a second team All-American with the Wildcats in 2022. More impressive than that, I think, though. Graduated with a biomedical engineering degree at Northwestern. Slapped up, bumped over. Rally continues. Tom Com. <laughs> yes. Watch out. <laughs> Member Mena taking flight. Oh, Andy, I felt that coming. So setter became your middle going forward, reversing a ball back. Member Mene says, yep, take that inside shot. 5-7 and can scrape the ceiling. 14-11 vibe. And the ace gives them the first to 15 and a timeout. Now well, the mojo had their mojo working to begin the set. Atlanta starting to settle into the match. 15-11 Atlanta. Set one from Gas South Arena. Come watch the match on April 7th at 4 p.m. and get a free San Diego Mojo Jersey t-shirt. The wait is finally over. A concept years in the making becomes a reality tonight. We have stars that are sure to make a splash in terms of heads. There are stars everywhere you look. No secret that tonight is going to be out there. Prepare to make history. And we are underway. And what a start. And a serve for Wiley. Picks out Donna Miller. Just so Three kills apiece from La Sereva, Edmund, and Lekator member Mena. To pace it landed to the 15-11 first set lead over San Diego. Lekator member Mena became a household name in college volleyball as a Pitt Panther, fast becoming a household name across the Pro Volleyball Federation. But as we come back from Greg Keeley Evelyn, it has begged the question, how do you pronounce Lekator's last name? Is it member Mena? Is it member Mene? Well, we thought we'd consult with an expert on the subject. Lekator herself yes, you and have to in go. the Vibes video on social media announcing her signing Lekator said hi my name is Lekator member Meta. so there you go adjust accordingly and off the overpass punched down by Yella Hasheva to stress the Atlanta run you know now Lekator member Mena has a Starbucks name like I do <laughs> every my whole career until I became first team All-American they call me Kelly and Keeley, so now I walk into Starbucks and say, my name is Kelly. Kelly Evelyn, Keeley Evelyn. Nice change of speed through the middle by Magda Yelahashiba. The number two pick in the Pro Volleyball Federation draft by the Mojo, acquired via trade with San Diego. Able to outfox Ronica Stone. And this is now starting to look like that Atlanta team that we saw on Wednesday versus Columbus. Service air gives it back to the Mojo. Now. We love our viewers on the Pro Volleyball Federation <laughs> YouTube channel. We know it's been a hot topic in the comments section, the pronunciation of Lekator member Mena. 
Folks, believe me, I wish my own family would hang on my every word like you guys do, and we love you for it. But yes. we wanted to make sure we cleared the air on Lekator. Member Mena and right on cue, taking something off on that swing and putting it down. Little off-speed shot coming in hot. You got 5'7". She says, I hang like a pro. I don't even need <laughs> that 5'7 around me. Watch me hang. Mix up the shots. Coming up with another kill. And a dozen of those in the sweep over the Fury. Three blocks as well with one A's popped high. Unable to be put down. Another one from Vander Wyda. Edmund covering in the back. La Sareva swooping in, but hits that on the way down. Trickles along the tape and over. And that'll be a point for the Vibe. That was the right idea because we saw Monterey get set to the middle. Yellow hash, but early on, then this one opening up a one-on-one -on -one un opportunity. The ball was just under set. Lazareva not able to get full hand connection on it just because it was a lower than she was expecting. Vibe are hoping for a touch off the block. That's what the holdup is, and it was initially called a touch, and so Vibe ball, Vibe point. Yeah, because clearly it landed on Atlanta's side. Yeah, that would be the best tool you've ever taken. Yeah. That ball was low and inside. Did it touch anybody? I just saw a lot of net bouncing. Heading out of bounds. No, I didn't see any touch yeah, by Mojo. I didn't see Vander White uh, clip the net on the way down either. <laughs> Rare miss hit perhaps from Ana Lasareva. Atlanta's only dropped one set in his last three home matches. They're 9-0 this year when winning the first set. 1-4 when they drop the first set. So this is a team that's atop the Pro Volleyball Federation standings, but it's not a team either, Keely, that needs a little bit of the match to grow into. They are sharp from the opening serve. Coach Dazne compliments his players, saying we have professionals on our team. They know exactly what they need to do. He doesn't have to encourage. In the college game, you have to work a little bit, train your players, but these pros, knows ex they know exactly what they need to do and showing up. Definitely no touch on this ball, but yep. this has been fun to watch. I've been enjoying it. Yep, call does get overturned. No block touch. And Veronica Stone, the third year pro from Oregon, sends it across. Oh, the center dump. What a layout dig though. Valeria Papa sprawling out. Slot attack, Yella Hasheva, that's not her strongest swing. It'll be pushed over by Thomas Alara. Edmund soaring up, spiking it down. She makes it look almost too easy. It's like parting the sea right there. You got to hold one on one. Edmund getting that type of court to look at, getting the kill. And a team high 20, tied a team high 23. And the two regular season meetings with the Mojo. Quick set. That's turned back by Yella Hasheva. Vanderweide again blocked. Vibes stuffing at the net. They had 12 blocks in the win over the Fury. Off the transition. Wow. Member Meta elevate and detonate. The entire Vibe team just needs to go and high five Yella Hasheva. Thank you for holding the block. Thank you for those two blocks early to keep the rally going right there. Back row attack for Atlanta. Vibe is clicking both with member Mena and with Edmund. Whatever you want to call her, just make sure you call her a baller. Yes. Yeah, she gets the up. Yella Hasheva cross court that's well covered by Papa. Andrew White oh. had to get lean back. Yella Hosever <laughs> sends it back. Oh, oh uh, taking away the shot. Beautiful block set up by her setter, Monterey. Taking away cross court, jumping in on that. Yella Hosever says, there you go. I think she was smiling before her feet touched the court. Timeout San Diego as the Vibe make it 21-13 in our first set. San Diego Club led by Taiba Hanif Park, the three-time Olympian outside hitter. Her assistants, Brandon Directo, Noli Mon, and Deetra Collins Parker, who when you were an assistant at San Diego State for five years, a city you know very well, Keely, your head coach was Deetra Collins Parker. I know you had to enjoy getting to reunite with her before the match. It's like when you're an assistant coach with the head coach, you get to know each other so well. You're out in that recruiting world together. You're trying to build a program. In our fourth season, she was coach of the year 
and we won the first ever Mountain West Conference Championship for the volleyball program. So there's a lot of grit and energy. And starting a new program, it's much like what this league is doing. Yeah. You're starting from scratch. You try to get the buy-in with your players. The coaches are trying to get that. You can see in the huddle, players are locked in, looking at the coach, ready to go together as a team. And both of the, these teams continue to elevate their game throughout the season. I love that you have connections, professional or sentimental, to several different franchises in this inaugural season of the Pro Volleyball Federation. You're a native of Grand Rapids. You played your college volleyball in Atlanta for Georgia Tech. And as you said, spent five seasons as an assistant to Coach Collins Parker at San Diego. And to see three franchises in cities where you played volleyball and grew to love the game has to have you so excited. It was pretty amazing. And then my head, the head coach for Omaha is my college teammate. Yeah. Bird. That everyone knows her as Bird. I'm not going to bust uh, out. Laura Kuhn. Montserrat over to Edmond. Parried away at the net. Tom Conn, quick set. Wow. Another block. This one from Yella Hasif. Oh boy, has she been sharp early. Montserrat feeds Edmond, and she wow. blows up the block for the point. Yella Hasif is saving the points, getting the pounce, jumping, and keeping the block rejecting that right back to finally finish with Edmund, but Yalhashva in that front row block is making that net small, covering a lot of ground. Service here is stymies some of the vibe momentum, 22 to 14 in set one. As Mojo team three and six on the year. Suffered three straight road sweeps before that sweep at Las Vegas six days ago. Yalhashva <laughs> cranking across court. Yeva Hasev has been the star of the set so far. The rookie from Washington State. Just imagine, Vibe opens up the slide attack. You have Lazareva cutting in on that back row attack. Like a tour member, men in the middle, Edmund on the outside. Andy, who do you try to commit on and block? Those are four attackers you're looking at. Hard to stop. Nice job, Vibe. And Columbus was left wondering the same thing on Wednesday. Yellow Hasiva coming off nine points against the Fury, including a season-high 556 hitting percentage. Hands get back, ball goes out, point goes to the Vibe. That's about three times now where they've gotten those hands down, anticipating the tool and gotten the point. And it's set point here for the Vibe. Ali Linehan with the serve, the former Kentucky Wildcat. Nice. And there she is, getting in front of it, bumping it over. Vibe trying to reload. Thomas Ilara up high and down hard. This is the passing game. So you saw Setter Tom come at the net. She did a lean back, left one on one to Thomas Ilara on the outside. These pros, if you get them one on one, they're getting the kill, especially an attacker like Thomas Ilara. Even a new pro in Temi Thomas Ilara, and that was a scary sight across the Big Ten the last several seasons for the former Badger and Northwestern Wildcat, Temi Thomas Ilara. 15 serving 24. Vander Weidem puts it over. Another slide swatted over. Vander Weidem, crouching dig. Hence. Monterey, admin, <laughs> just like that, set to the vibe. Member Mene racking it up, seven kills, first set. Let's do this, she says. One more look at the finish. Clinical from Edmund, clinical vibe, 25-15 in the first. I lost a nail. That's why I'm like dumb, because I say all the, the wrong thing. You know I'm screaming fabulous. You know I'm screaming fabulous.
upsetting. Seriously, that's a roof. Come watch the match on April 7th at 4 p.m. and get a free San Diego Mojo Jersey t-shirt. with a kill percentage of 42% as they cruise to a 25-15 set one win over the Mojo at Gas South Arena. Andy Demetri, Keita Evelyn. Great to have you with us on YouTube tonight and match night in the Pro Volleyball Federation. And what a weekend to be a volleyball player, a volleyball fan here in the city of Atlanta. Terrific turnout at Gas South Arena. The Big South National Qualifier is taking place in Atlanta this weekend. Largest indoor girls junior volleyball tournament over a single weekend in North America. And I think we have a lot of players from that Big South National Qualifier taking in the action tonight, Keely. Players were hoping for the morning wave so they could show up <laughs> here in the afternoon before they have to wake up and play again. The World Congress Center has close to 200 volleyball courts set up right now. Teams from all over the nation coming together. It's always a lot of fun. I'm trying to fathom a single space holding 200 volleyball courts. Member Meta with the serve to get the second set started. Off the top of the hands. They say no. The right idea, though, anything close to net, Setter Tomcom really wants to get some type of middle action going. Yeah, it just seems like the vibe or outfoxing the mojo at the net. Tight set, it's an overpass, and Yella Hashiva thumps it down. Coach Honey Parker encourages those tight passes, though. So, so she's not even phased right now. She was like, Vander Weide, go ahead and just pull the little off, but that's the right idea. We need to get the ball close to the net. Tom Conn ranging over, setting up Thomas Ilara. And the points. You saw that's the previous attack. Thomas Ilara tried to go for, just missed it mm -hmm. wide in the first set. This one catching the hands of Edmund to get the tool shot out of bounds. Yeah, you could tell that was one that Thomas Ilara wanted earlier. Big top spin serve after the Moja's first point of the set. Boy, they have been very active on those go behinds with Yeda Hashiva. Keely, Tom Dashen, they told us before the match, that is not Magda Yeda Hashiva's forte, the slide attack, but. Well, she's making a fool of her head coach right now. I love it. This is why you train and get, get that consistency with your setter. That connection is really clicking today. Magda Yelahashiva, most prolific blocker in the rally scoring era in NCAA history. Another slide. This one from Watson off the block and down for the point. To coach Dazene recognizing you're getting a lot of kills on the slide attack. Two of the best attackers to go off of one foot are Karis Watson and Yelahashiva, so putting Watson in, getting that first slide attack kill is nice. One of the most seasoned members of this Vibe roster, the eighth year pro from nearby Clemson. Bump from the back row. Edmund <laughs> finds the seam. Leah Edmund is seeing it with 20-20 vision tonight. 
Finishing off match point, getting in her, in her groove. Edmund going through two defenders. The, you have to make a move defensively to dig that ball. Edmund, happy to get that. Five kills for Leah Edmund so far. Off the block, touch, unable to be kept up. Side out to the mojo. Dalkey going off the hands. Offensively, you need something happening. Dalkey says we need to get everybody going. Getting some playing time right now. Nice high shot off the hands. Yeah, Kendra Dalkey appeared in this second set, the fourth year pro from Arizona. She'll queue up the serve for Coach Anif Park. Very much a Pac-12 influence in the shape Gosh. of this Mojo roster, and that cut shot gets down for Edmund. You know, like those on and off sprinklers working different shots? Edmund hits it one place, you, you cheat over as the defender, she changes her shot, makes it like a sniper, hard inside. That is called a dot. Boom. Off the right hand of Leah Edmund. Montserrat to serve. Hands well positioned. Montserrat off speed over the block, pancaked up. Venegas laying out. Rally continues. Oh, oh Watson dropping the hammer. <laughs> Come on, Watson, off of one foot. Nice job, setter Montserrat getting middles involved. The back row attack was working. Now Montserrat's working the middle attack. This is what makes this offense so lethal. Who do you pick to stop? Montserrat getting the kill with her middle, Watson. And there is just no easy answer right now. Trying to defend against the vibe. Strong swing, though, from Ronica Stone. That makes you feel good right there. It's one of those, you can do it, we can do it too. That's how you grab momentum back on your side. One of the franchise players for the Mojo, along with their setter, Nutsar and Tom Com, the former Oregon Duck, Ronica Stone. Well, she pounds it into the net. And I loved what Coach Faneef Park told us about Ronica Stone. Says she's hungry for the ball, but she also called her the pulse of the team. That's about the highest of praise you can bestow upon one of your players. Vanderweide winds up <laughs> and sails it. Take a moment and appreciate that killer serve. Edmund connected with that hand. That ball got right on the passer extremely fast. Let's see if she can do it again. She was feeling it, but a little low on the line drive. Gosh. Service here makes it 9-4 vibe. Gosh, if she can get consistent with what we saw in the previous serve, that ball is coming on you very quick. Using your power and speed on that, it's just got to come consistent by the time you hit playoffs. Speaking of someone who knows all the tricks, Newt Sarat, Tom Com. Joust at the net, Lasareva and Vanderweide. Vanderweide bumps it over, hence the dig. Montserrat, the back set, Lasareva. Block touched by the Mojo. As they send it to the outside and put down by Thomas Ilara. All the yeses right there, Venegas. Laying out, sticking a dime. That caused the one-on-one -on -one opportunity. You had a late read and movement because of that pass, Venegas. Jara Venegas. 14th year pro from Puerto Rico. La Sareva drops it down. Before the match, we asked Coach Dagenet, did you drop the set for La Zareva? He said, yes, we trained that. We want to get her a seam one-on-one. -on -one. Look at this, guys. You going through it with the power that La Zareva brings. That ball is just straight to the floor. Missed the first meeting with the Mojo when she was wrapping up her season in China. She was the Chinese Volleyball Super League Foreign Player of the Year. Venegas up high. Thomas Ilara. And that is out. Point vibe. Really? Do you feel like the mojo are being a little too obvious and trying to hit for hands? You're trying to avoid this stellar block. So you saw yeah. the inside setup by Lazareva. You're, I think you can go high off the hands, but trying to go around... This vibe defense setup is just too good. Oh, Yelahashiva couldn't find it at the net. Point to the mojo. And changing up your shot is key. You have to attack the least predictable ball. You see a little change up dropping for mojo. Now six serving 11 in the second set. This mojo team three and six, Keely, but two of their wins are against the Rise, the same team that's dealt Atlanta two of its four losses this year which is a testament to how much parity there is around the Pro Volleyball Federation. 
As Coach Hanif Park said, it's all about the matchups. You get a good matchup right here. Like to remember Mena taking advantage of an open line shot off the hands of Ilara, but that is the matchup right here. It, little inside, take it off the hands with power. Member Mena, like we said, however you choose to pronounce it, just make sure you call her a baller. <laughs> Whitney Bauer, who's activated after the Tory Stringer trade back in the middle of the month, the rookie from BYU on the service line. Nampa, Idaho's own, but into the net. You know, I feel like I need to apologize to Lakator saying, your whole time at Pitt on the sheet, it said Mene. Yeah. And that's what I called you. So you come to the vibe. I was sticking with what they had on the sheet of paper, the pronunciation guide. So finding out Lakator member Mena is the correct pronunciation really helped me out. Now uh, I want to get you a Starbucks. I guess too modest to correct anyone. As that one corkscrews off wide and a point to the vibe. Well, she has been a menace around the Pro <laughs> yes. Volleyball Federation. Another point, though, for Yella Hashiva. Magda Yella Hashiva, this might be her finest performance of the season through a set and a half. Overpassed. Oh, Venegas laying out, but the point goes to the vibe on, I believe, the net violation. A little back row setter combination. So if you touch it and reach, and the ball's going over, the block has a right to it. Nutara Tomcom called for a back row violation. Tom Kong, oh, twisting set that's turned back by Edmund and Yelahashiva. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a kill! <laughs> Suspended in midair. Let's go, Dalkey, inside. This is a zone four to zone four, sharp angle. That's how you do it, executed with perfection. Power, hard to make that d a defensive play. Now, Dalkey had to hang in midair for that. That was impressive hang time. And another point on the off-speed swing from Yella Hashiva. You can see Atlanta pushing tempo. That was a ball at the net. Nice job setter, Montserrat. It's going in that middle. Stretches the Vibe lead to 15-8 as we've hit timeout in our second set. Still all Vibe on this Saturday night in Atlanta. I love setting. Seriously, that's a roof. can win it here in the Pro Volleyball Federation. The higher the level, it means more power. Elecator member Mene, wow, what a shot. Again, rejected, Ronica Stone. You get tightened up, they progress through that season, <laughs> and you cannot progress through that solo block in the middle for Cass Brown. Ilara, deep corner, and that was picked perfectly. Atlanta over San Diego, 15-8, and our second set is welcome you back. Andy Demetra and Keely Evelyn and Atlanta continuing to put it all together, Keely. We saw how terrifying they could be with that sweep over Columbus on Wednesday. Very little drop-off here to close out the week, and the ace out of the timeout from who else? Magda Yelahashiva. Coach Dajane says his team looks ready, and they are coming out with straight firepower. 49% of these attacks going down for kills. Then you add an ace, how are you gonna stop it? That one is muscled through the double block for the side out from Ronica Stone. And that, my friend, is how you stop it. You try <laughs> to get Stone involved in your offense. So much power, elevates off of one foot. I love watching her play. Seeing it live is just impressive. Former second team AVCA All-American with Oregon. Nine serving 16. 
And no, oh, off speed. Great layout, though, by Thomas Ilara. Hands diving. She is something to watch defensively. But from the back row, pounded down for the point. Dalkey once again able to pack it in. These teams are just loaded with talent. Dalkey did not start the match. Now she adds some firepower. That back row, she was asking for it and delivered. Clips the tape on the serve. Reversed. Another pancake, Venegas. Transition ball for the Mojo, and they get it down. <laughs> oh, Van der Weide taking the fast pace of her arm. Watch how fast she moves her arm, guys. That's a whip through, going a little off the hands. That caused the redirect for Hens, ab not able to make that extra move. Fourth year pro, but a veteran has spent time in Hungary, France, Greece, the Philippines, Puerto Rico. Closes the gap to five. Nice block at the pin. Blocked, kept up, not over. And once again, Atlanta builds the wall at the net with Edmund and Watson. Lee Edmonds got to be one of the best blocking left fronts you will see. She almost got a national championship. Ali Linehan got it the next year at Kentucky, <laughs> but just takes over at this net game. She is a specimen and a sight to watch. Here's Montserrat coming off 40 assists, 14 digs versus Columbus. Sixth double-double of the season for the rookie from Florida and UCLA. Thomas Ilara into the net, point vibe. And that's the other thing, too, and why this vibe team continues to look better and better has been the improved play of Marty Montserrat. Todd Dagenet said she's getting better setting on the run, and you can tell that chemistry and connection continue to develop with her teammates. And her beach year, she took her COVID year at UCLA playing with her twin, Beach. That improves your defensive game, the ability to read, because you're the only defender back there. you got to make the shot. Oh. Incredible layout, just not enough. Mojo says we need a point and a side out quick. Well, Morgan Hentz diving all over the court. Melissa Rava ran out of room. Point to the Mojo to make it 18-12. The right idea, you just got to change something up. If you, defenders are sitting in the strong shots, nice layout, hence, just not enough. And to think invigorated. Oh, the slam tip. First time we've seen that tonight. <laughs> it only works about twice a match. Monterey did it at the perfect time, just after a tip shot that her Libro almost picked up, changes up, throws it over on two. Thought you were oh going to go with the Anchorman reference. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> yeah. And that one is crushed out of bounds from Vander Wyde, a point to the vibe. I think Morgan Hentz is also inspired because we talked about so many clubs that are here in town for the Big South National Qualifier watching tonight's match at Gas South Arena. And Morgan told me before the match that includes her former club team, NKY VB. Popped up by Watson. Edmund from the corner. And Donkey with a miss hit. Yeah, you need to find that coach that taught Morgan Hens how to <laughs> pass a ball. Sign her up <laughs> on that club right there. Nice job. Just trying to avoid Hens, right? You saw left back shot. You got to make a move because Hens is trying to get everything. Strong serve, but overcooked by Edmund. This is a situation so. Right now, Atlanta trusts their side out game. They're hitting a kill efficiency of 62%. 62% of their balls are going to the floor. Oh you boy. can see Yasiana Presley coming in. Grace Cleveland on the right side in her rotation. Looking good. Hey, Yasi Presley, former National Player of the Year with Baylor, did not appear in the Fury match on Wednesday. Targeting her on the serve receive. Edmund winds up from the back. That's kept up by Donkey. Thomas Ilara soft over the block. Wow. Hence, oh my goodness. <laughs> this Vibe team can cover half the earth. Thomas Ilara trying to push it over, gets it through, and gets it down. Tips are working. So you see Mojo just trying to change things up. I, Morgan Hens is one of the best Libros I have ever seen ever play, even in my professional playing days. Maybe we'll see in the Olympics one day, but changing up the shot is what Mojo's doing and finding points. 
And Morgan Hentz has spent the last two years with Team USA. That quick set, well read in the middle. Yasi Presley, but Venegas with the dig. Hentz there to cover. Presley once more, trying to drop it deep. And tamped over for the vibe point from Presley. How Not going to be her most violent swing, but she knew where she was and what she needed to do. Just ready at the net, but how quickly as a pro do you adjust? First one taking a cross court, second one changing up the line to cause that overpass. Yossi Presley set herself up for that. And now Reagan Pittman coming on for the first time. Coax out of retirement and helping the vibe to this 10 and 4 record atop the Pro Volleyball Federation. Set up and put down from the middle. Tom Com with the set. That's what Mojo wants right now. Go ahead and sleep on us. So you put in yeah, different players. Bastianelli taking that crossbody shot over Pittman, around Pittman. Right idea. You cannot sleep on this middle attack by Mojo. Yeah, Bastianelli, the middle blocker from Illinois. And the side out right back by the Vibe. Ali Bastianelli actually signed by Atlanta at the end of May, was subsequently traded to San Diego. But there are a lot of teams that would like to trade for Leah Edmond. Yeah, you would I trade don't a think the Vibe are going to want to part with her, yeah. 23-15 Vibe in the second set. Another quick set through the oh. middle and crushed. Tom Com, the setter, is saying, yep, now our passing game is going. We have the endurance to push this match. Getting our rhythm is key. Even if we don't win this set, this is key to following up and trying to pull off a reverse sweep. 16 serving 23 with Bastianelli. Overpass and another vibe point from Dalkey. There we go. You can feel Mojo just creeping yep. back off of this. It starts with the service game. That was a gr great serve after a nice two kill run by Bastianelli. It was teammates with the Vibes, Shelly Fanning in the 2021 Pan American Cup. But the service air gives the point to the Vibe and makes it set point in the second. Vibe commanded the first set 25-15, up 24-17 in set number two. And it's Presley to serve. And Pittman finishes it off. Reagan Pittman. First swing of the match makes it count. 25-17 Vibe takes set number two. That was the Vibes show in the second. Two sets to none as we've hit intermission. Stick around. Much more coverage to come from Atlanta. I lost the nail. That's why I'm like dumb, because I say all the wrong, the wrong things.
Come watch the match on April 7th at 4 p.m. and get a free San Diego Mojo Jersey t-shirt. volleyball have you seen the product that's out there have you seen the athlete i i don't even know if there is words to explain how i'm feeling right now i'm just so excited and grateful to be able to do this right now it was definitely really cool to be able to be playing such a volleyball it's really cool to be able to be a part of the first year or something no one takes for granted the opportunity that is here and present for us kids and people in general are really excited about for volleyball I think it's the first time that it's actually happening and that it's done very well. And your jersey, I hope, is your coach's favorite person? Yeah, it's my little Okay, it's okay. <laughs> and that it's so accessible to everyone. I wish I had something like that. It's a really cool feeling to know that they have professional volleyball to come watch. So making an environment where you're happy to do what you're supposed to do. So that we build a, a journey and a path for future generations. The Atlanta Vibe have been putting on a show in the first two sets, 25-15 in the first, 25-17 in the second. Man up two sets to none. Over the mojo, Andy Demetra, Akita Evelyn, great to have you with us tonight and our coverage of the Pro Volleyball Federation. We saw how terrifying this ceiling can be for the Vibe on Wednesday. And, well, not much of a drop-off tonight against the mojo. Yeah, the Vibe right now have four hitters with four more kills. For Mojo, you have Ila Timus Ilara on the right side. She's got nine kills, but you got to produce a little more offense to beat a Vibe team. Vibe, of course, trying to protect their top spot in the Pro Volleyball Federation standings. Currently 10 and 4. Mojo coming off that road sweep over Las Vegas, 3 and 6. But remember, two of those wins have come against the Grand Rapids team that beat the Vibe twice. Now, earlier this week, it was announced that Omaha has been selected as the site of championship weekend. The CHI Health Center Keeley has drawn such tremendous crowds all season long and very rightfully so earning the right to host the inaugural PFV championship. In Omaha, you just have volleyball fans that appreciate good volleyball. If you're in the top four, you don't really care where it is. You just want to be there to be in fight for that a million dollar championship. That is where the first ever Pro Volleyball Federation match took place between the Supernovas and the Vibe. The Vibe, of course, won that in five sets and in good shape to probably revisit the great city of Omaha in early May. Right now, I'm trying to finish off the mojo up two sets to none. Our third set from Gas South Arena is coming up in just a moment. The nail. That's why I'm like dumb because I say all the, yeah. the wrong things. You know I'm screaming fabulous. You know I'm screaming fabulous. You know I'm screaming fabulous. Here in the Pro Volleyball Federation, the higher the level, it means more power. Higher. 
Elecator member Mene. Wow, what a shot. Again. Rejected! Ronica Stone gets tightened up. They progress through that season, <laughs> and you cannot progress through that solo block in the middle for Cass Brown. Hi, Laura. Deep corner, and that was picked perfectly. Come watch the match on April 7th at 4 p.m. and get a free San Diego Mojo Jersey t-shirt. volleyball have you seen the product that's out there have you seen the athletes i i don't even know if there's words to explain how i'm feeling right now i'm just so excited and grateful to be able to do this right now well, it's definitely really cool to be able to be playing soccer volleyball it's really cool to be able to be a part of the first year or something no one takes for granted the opportunity that is here and present for us kids and people in general are really excited about for volleyball i think it's the first time that it's actually happening and that is done very well. And your jersey, I hope, is there a token table for this? Yeah, no, no, okay, no. okay. <laughs> and that it's so accessible to everyone. I wish I had something like that. It's a really cool feeling to know that they have professional volleyball to come watch. It's about making an environment where you're happy to do what you're supposed to do. So that we build a, a journey and a path for future generations. As we welcome you back to Cass South Arena and tonight's coverage of the Pro Volleyball Federation, Andy Demetri, Keely Evelyn. Vibe trying to win for his seventh time in his last eight outings, up two sets to none over the Mojo. They have swept San Diego in each of their first two meetings of the season. Mojo Keely actually led the first set five to two. Their last lead of the match was nine eight in the first. We saw them start to maybe find some seams there late in the second set. Maybe that'll inspire Coach Anit Park in the mojo. How do you see them finding some angles and finding more consistent offense? They got three kills in the middle at the end of that set as you felt like they were losing, but all they wanted was momentum and hope that their game is still intact. So right there, you've passed well. You know you have two of the most dominant middles, and then you're deep into your bench with attackers that you can go to. Dalkey did a great job now getting the start on that service line. I think you cannot sleep on this Mojo team if you're Atlanta Vibe. Coach Anit Park told us this afternoon they haven't used their middles as effectively this season. Well, we saw them with Dalkey among others. Thanks to the shrewd setting of TomCom, start to open up that part of their offense. Service there gives the point to the Vibe and Karis Watson, the former Clemson Tiger. And she dots the back row, ace. That's when you know it's your night. <laughs> it is. Go, love to see her going off a of one foot in that front row attack. This one dropping a high ball, and then it just tanked really short at that service line. Venegas handles that. And that is wide. As the Mojo went for the slot attack. And now it's a 3-0 start to the third. R Ronica Stone is one of those middles that you will find anywhere about eight feet off the net. You're trying to get her the ball. She can produce offense for you, but it sta starts with a good pass. Vander Wada trying to go soft over the block. Tap back by Fanning and make it 4-0 Vibe. When you watch Atlanta Vibe currently, you can feel the unity coming in. It doesn't matter who's on the court. They're coming hard together, giving hugs in the middle. This is a very united team, Andy, that we're witnessing. A lot of confidence, a lot of trust in one another. You saw that on Wednesday and seeing it again tonight.
Tom Cobb pops it up, put over by Vander Weidem. Nice dig. Fanning, point vibe. Off a slide attack, if you go to that corner shot, two defenders cross. Fanning working that seam. Watch how the right back's got to take a step to the left. Great dig by Linehan. Yes, there you go, Linehan. Yeah. And then transition with middle fanning for the kill. Allie Linehan, who's been in and out of the lineup due to injury, in fact, suffered that injury in the first set of their first meeting versus the Mojo. Caused her to miss a couple of weeks. Maybe hasn't quite gotten back to 100%. Good to see her on the court. And for the Mojo, good to see them finally get the side out. Allie Linehan, a national champion at Kentucky, and she's right next, next to Morgan Hentz, also a three-time national champion at Stanford. La Sareva winds up, gets it blocked. <laughs> Vander Wyda and Bastianelli both shutting that down. Lazareva is the type of player that you know you can go right back to. It's going to be interesting <laughs> to see. You get blocked. That was a beautiful setup. Vander Wyda making the right read. And that raises a point that Todd Dagenet told us in pregame that as this season has progressed, another block this time in the middle. And the mojo starting to find theirs to begin the third set. But what Tan Dagenet told us is that he feels like his team is allowing mistakes to happen and then moving on, not letting one mistake become two. And Mojo are saying, okay, try not to be that team today because we just got back-to-back -back blocks Ooh. on you. Now with an ace, feeling their mojo. Yeah, Stone pulls the arrow out of the quiver. One of the few aces the Mojo have turned in on the Vibe to, so far. Make it four, serving five. Linehan, Monserrat, over to Edmund. That's blocked. Pushed over by the Vibe. Chance for the Mojo to tie this quickly. One-on-one -on, -one on the slot attack. That is clinical. And just like that, the Mojo with Bastianelli's kill ties it at five come on out a little flat it says mojo with vibe coming out strong is mojo in this third set working the block ace on the service line now following up with the slide looking good Edmund soft over the block a little miscommunication free ball for the vibe scary proposition and fanning crushes it middle bastianelli for mojo thought about she might set Lazareva that caused the hesitation allowed Fanning to get a late one-handed block Fanning for the kill when you have the weapons that Atlanta has it is awfully hard to get a read on them consistently Thomas Ilara taking flight from the back that's dug out by Monserrat now Lazareva drops it in we're now in the third set. It's one of those moments where you almost want to put Lazareva inside. You see that inside set? You give a lot more court to look at because for two sets, the block has been going line to protect the line shot and that deep shot. Former Olympian in 2020, Ana Lazareva makes it 7-5 vibe overpass. And a chance now for the mojo to reload. Tom Cod, the jump set. Vanderwada has that turn back, but tooled out of bounds and the points to the mojo. Really nice technique by Tom Com running forward. She did a lean back. That caused Fanning to hold just a little bit in the middle for Vibe. That caused the movement in the block finally when the attacker took the ball. Dadashne said to Nutsar Tom Com, world class. In his words, exceptionally elite. Point Vibe. Another exceptional elite player <laughs> is Fanning in the middle. She really wants this set. Asking for it. High five with her setter, Monterey, coming out strong. This is what you need, that middle offense going. And the serve whistles long for the air as Edmund sailed that. 8-7 vibe, Vander Wyden to serve. And you see Allie Linehan for Atlanta Vibe getting for some front row action, not just sticking her in back row for her passing game. Lasareva didn't put a full swing into it. Now it's Alara Thomas stepping into it, and Morgan, uh, Morgan Hentz there. But another swing, it sails long from Edmund. This is what Mojo need, just mistakes on the Atlanta side. They were almost flawless the first two sets. They need missed swings to stay in this match and keep momentum. It was a 3-0 start to the set for the Vibe, now tied at eight. 
Linehan. That's dug out by Tom Cum. Thomas Ilara cross court gets the kill. And the Mojo take the lead 9-8 after a 3-0 start for the Vibe in our third. And you see Ilara taking off a little pace to drop this with hard topspin right in front of Edmund on this. Here come the Mojo. Mojo led 9-8 in the first set. That was their last lead until right now and a chance to make it a two-point margin, and they get that. Coach, As Donkey rattles it through the hands. I'm thinking Coach Dagenet needs a timeout. If they don't get this next point, I would be surprised if he doesn't call this timeout. Tight set and stuck. <laughs> Shelly Fanning once again. This is the composure of Coach Dash today. He said, no, we're okay. We trust our passing game. Fanning's been working one blocker, two blockers, finding points. Monterey knows the scouting report. We're going to execute. Fanning trying to extend a streak of six consecutive matches in double figures. Dumped on two by La Sareva. The block touch. Vibe. Monterey to La Sareva off hands and down. This is where you thank your middle for touching that ball off the block. Nice job, Karis Watson, to slow the ball down, keep the rally going. Lazareva automatic in that right side. Levels us at 10. That's blocked by Watson, and the Vibe retake the lead. When you watch an Olympian like Lazareva, it's just such composure. She didn't like her first attack, comes oh, now yeah. through. That was all Lazareva. Watson was closing, but yeah, let's put that on Lazareva's tab. Oh, yeah. No, but <laughs> I mean, that's a shared assist block. You counted on both tabs. Split the bill. And again, vibe point. Thomas Ilara had the right idea. Ball set a little inside. She tried to take it off Linehan, her arms, like we saw her come out with the tool shot early, going for the shot if she had it. And now it's a 4-0 vibe run. Thomas Ilara one-on-one. La Sareva gets in front of it. Thomas Ilara once more goes soft and bumped over by Watson. As the vibe tried to get reorganized, that swatted through the middle. Edmund from a knee digs it out. Thomas Ilara <laughs> through the double block, just detonates on it. <laughs> Thomas Ilara hit that ball like that's the shot I was trying to go for in the last ball. Let me go ahead and do the shot I was trying to do with authority down the line at Fanning. And former Wisconsin Badger, Northwestern Wildcat swinging away. Samps the 4-0 vibe run, 11 serving 12. Edmund deep and down. Edmund does a serve. It's like a hybrid serve, half floater, half topspin. So coming off the serve to do her topspin attack, trying to change the hand. It takes extreme hand control. She got it. This one dropped right at the line. Five up, 13-11. Donkey on the lean back, dug out by Hens. La Sareva with the bump set. And a point to the mojo as they win that joust. Nice job, Stone just redirecting. When the ball's coming over pass as a middle blocker, you just take a mental note where the defender is not expecting open court to be there, changing up. Mm. Nice job, Stone. Buzzer sounded after the mojo point. In this rotation, yep. you do have a slide attack from Watson but you cannot sleep on Lazareva on the back row attack. Those are two strong options. It's all going to be about this pass right now. See Oraski targets on the serve to Edmund. Linehan off the block and over. Point vibe. Setter Monterey identified everybody's going to be thinking about my slide attack right back. Let me go ahead, lean back, dish out to Linehan in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Allie Linehan, former Kentucky Wildcat, the first ever Pro Volleyball Federation Player of the Week. La Sareva, boy, tight angle, but it was Venegas covering the line. Linehan smacks it. 
Kept up by Hands. Does it get over? Stuffed at the net, pushed over. Nice save. And we play on. Linehan, but it is long. No touch at the line. Woo. <laughs> Mojo happy to come up with that one. Long rally, did a great job holding the net's line, picking up a nice dig to keep it going, Rasky. As Todd Dagenet watches on, his team up by one. And then oh. blocked. And that smothered. All the yeses right there. Morgan Lewis coming up, taking a cross-court shot, dropping in on that seam, recognizing the attacker Edmund was going for it. One of Taiba Hinif Park's former players when she was an assistant in 2022 at Oregon. Not to say 14. Edmund crushes it. <laughs> Swinging with force. You can feel the competitor coming out with Leah Edmond. Not happy she got blocked on the previous tag. And that's how a champion responds. Edmond coming up with power. And it takes us to the timeout with Vibe 15, Mojo 14. Come watch the match on April 7th at 4 p.m. and get a free San Diego Mojo Jersey t-shirt. Set in Atlanta, Vibe lead the Mojo 15-14. Atlanta up two sets to none. On a great Saturday night for volleyball. Here in the capital of Georgia, Kamali Hayapo with the serve. And with that, every single active player for the Vibe has seen the court. Although the side out from Morgan Lewis gives the point to the Mojo. Morgan Lewis coming up with a big block, coming with a kill. But you're right, when you go deep into your bench, playing every player, he's got to be happy. But what would make these by players happy is a 3-0 win. Yeah. And Mojo says, we're trying to avoid that. Five to sweat the Mojo each of their first two meetings. A block puts the Mojo back in front. Bastianelli did an awesome job trying to get over for that close and press back in. Nice job with the setup, Vanderweide, but even better close. Allie Bastianelli starting to come on. Opportunity more for the Mojo. Linehan the dig, swatted over by Edmund. And chopped. Who gets it? Vibe get it. Uh, I think Taiba Hini Park. Wants to initiate a challenge. Thought there was a touch at the net. It was clearly out. Right here, Monterey, usually in college game, you can try to fake it out a little bit. Like, don't, I didn't touch it, turn. But now with Bolt 6, with all these this camera system, you have 22 cameras in this gym. You, There's no lying because you can come right off that. Bastianelli trying to find open court and actually getting the hands the attempt of getting the hands. We'll see what Bolt 6 calls. We saw the fingers rubbing on the side of the Mojo and the Jazz hands on the Vibe side. 
Yeah, yeah, I think there's still that salesmanship that all volleyball players have ingrained in them whenever there's a, an eyelash call, but Bold Six will render the verdict here. And the only player in this gym that can tell the truth is Monterey. To her teammates right now, you, you, you're you very honest with them. Like, I did not, or I did touch it. So Monterey is already telling to her teammates what she did. And I believe it is confirmed. Block touch, point to the mojo. So they retake the lead at 16-15. Good acting right there by Monterey. Yeah. Sold it really well. Mojo creeping right back in this set, though. And something to keep in mind, Keeley, as this third set gets deep, the Vibe won their first 13 matches, make it 17-15, beg your pardon, Mojo in front. Now 17-16 on the swing from the pin by Edmund. But the Vibe won their first 13 sets decided by two points before their loss in the closeout set last Sunday versus the Fury. But this is still a team that plays clutch when sets play tight. Serve receive is also stiffened for the mojo. But the <laughs> solo block by Edmund. <laughs> Rock the baby to sleep. That is exactly what you are supposed to do in a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Jump hard to the seam. But Edmund takes it to another level. Watch how much net she takes mm. away. That is beautifully done, Leah Edmund. Just an eclipse from the pin to ties at 17. Monterey pops it up. Edmund puts it down. And just like that, the Vibe regained the lead. Right there, Lee Edmund giving some high five in love. Or Morgan Hens picking up that dig, going over the block and a high shot to the corner. Edmund coming up with the block less rally. Now getting the kill in this one. It's been a resilient third set for the Mojo. But now back trailing, 18-17, trying to make it short-lived. What a cover by Hens. Nifty cover as well by Venegas, and going soft over the double block. Pancaked up and played over. Mojo still have to earn this, and they do. Great points. Morgan Lewis coming in, throw a little off speed, going back and forth, holding your breath, in, if you will, just keeping... The, the floor, ball off the floor is Mojo to finally finish with an off-speed shot is Lewis. Right, Morgan Lewis has been a difference maker in this third set. Edmund gets a turn back. You know, I took a math class with, in my, with my brother. He was a year older than me, and it took him a little longer to figure out the yeah. problem. But way, then to, he way to up, throw your brother I, under I the did, bus, by the I way. I did, but then he ended up getting a really good grade in the class, and that's what you see Mojo right now. They're figuring out the game. It's taking him a little longer. We're in the third set. And then Atlanta Vibe still reminds Mojo we have Lazareva, Russian R Olympian, coming with that hard shot cross court. Boy, the Russian rifle from the outside on a Lazareva. Evens it at 19. As long as you figure out by the mid uh, the exam, you're ready. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, off the tape, popped up, and turned back. Kelly Fanning with the block. You can feel the energy coming out. Atlanta Vibe does not want to go longer than this third set. Fanning's coming in with some energy and fight. Edmund is on that service line, just hoping to keep it alive right there. Fanning says, nice job. Third block, eighth point for Shelly Fanning, the native of Cypress, Texas. Edmund with that hybrid serve, earns the ace. <laughs> There you go, Leah Edmond. I really start block for Edmond. That was a solo. Nobody else is closing on this. That got Edmond in her groove. Now dropping one short. Everyone is expecting deep. Nice job, Leah Edmond, leading your team right now. Poetry in motion to force the San Diego timeout. 21-19 vibe in our third. We're off, right? As we thank you for watching tonight on the Pro Volleyball Federation YouTube channel from Gas South Arena, Andy Demetri, Keely Evelyn, 21-19 vibe lead the Mojo, but it's been a back and forth third set. And like we said, the Mojo 
showing a lot of fight and resolve after they were outclassed by the vibe in sets one and two. You know, passing wise, perfect passes. They're about equal, 21% for Mojo, 22 for Atlanta. I think Mojo are really trying to get in their groove, but the difference, what we know, Andy, from this past season, what have it happened before? Atlanta loves tight matches at the end, yeah. winning multiple matches by two, two points. points. This is where the winners come out. Coach Dazene says our team is filled with a bunch of winners. We show out when the match is tight. They weren't seriously challenged in each of their last two home matches, both sweeps versus the Fury and the Valkyries. Blocked <laughs> as they try to go over on two. This has been like an Edmund Fanning one-two punch. Coming in, Fanning getting some really type of leadership. You can feel her energy on the court and Edmund doing an excellent job on the service line. Goes deep this time. Vander Weida snaps it down. Great job seeing the seam and taking it. Staying in this match, you're going to have to own the service game with that attack we just saw. Vander Weida, this is your time to shine. Lakator member Mena is back in the rotation. We know the set is going to be low. You get her a seam. Atlanta can get a kill. Serving it to member Mena. Off the reversal, Edmund digs it out. La Sereva, very <laughs> clever off the outside edge of the block for the point. The, the process ability of La Sereva, recognizing here's a set, I have a moving block. Oh, let me just go ahead, an easy tip. Oh. Shot off the hands, beautifully done with the smile added. 23-25. Oh, <laughs> down the line. Chopped for the point. This is the offense we know Mojo has. The slide attack with the middle. Bastianelli taking that power hit shot when Mojo are in system. This is how they beat a team like Grand Rapids twice. You get these middles going, it's lights out. Former three-time AVCA All-American at Illinois, Ali Bastianelli, but put down once more by Ana Lasareva, and it's now match point vibe. A feeling from Lazareva like we're going to finish this. Going off the tip shot early, this one going harder down the line. 24-21 vibe, crowd on its feet at Gas South Arena, and it'll be the Russian Olympian Ana Lazareva to wind it up. Take it over late in the third. Oh, and she gets the ace to finish things off. Hey. Ana Lazareva lighting it up down the stretch to secure the sweep for the Vibe, a third sweep of the season against the Mojo. And Atlanta continues to lock down that top spot in the Pro Volleyball Federation. A full team fight for Atlanta using their entire roster in this match, showing a lot of unity and grit. Mojo, when you pass, gosh, you are amazing to watch, have a lot of offensive power, really tried to figure it out. Overall, Atlanta today represented why they are the number one team in the league currently. Mojo battled, but they fall to three and seven. Atlanta improves to 11 and four. 25-15 in set one, 25-17 in the second set, 25-21 in the third, behind 15 points from Leah Edmond, 12 from Ana La Sareva. 12 digs from Morgan Hens to lead the way. The Vibe over the mojo for Keila Evelyn, Andy Demetra, and our entire crew. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.